in this video, we are going to be seeing this new Axial SCX6. Can we be putting something besides 2.9 tires on there? What kind of 3.8 other wheels and tires can we put on this thing? And will they fit? Will it drive? Okay, so the stock wheels and tires, 2.9s, which is interesting because like, I mean, nobody else has done a 2.9 before, right? I don't know. Okay, so like, that's a first, which means that all of those uh, 1.9s and 2.2s with 12 millimeter hexes that I have in the garage, which I have like a dozen pair, are utterly useless, which means what 17 millimeter tires and wheels do we have that we can use? So I have a bunch left over from old vehicles that I don't have anymore, like Yeti XL with some crazy nine inch tall RC four wheel drive, uh, rock crushers if I remember right, really really fun can that fit on there but even all the way to the other end of the spectrum like eight scale trunky tires like they're really really soft they're 17 millimeter hex I'm like hey and this thing brushless and pretty fast in second gear so like let me know if we should be taking this down to our local dirt off-road track and trying to see how fast in a lap it'll do because i think honestly that would be really really fun to get a bunch of them out there on track and race it but so let me know we need to buy a bunch of scx sixes for a race class but i want to see what of these will go on this truck now as we get started i need to yell at axial for a second because the wheel mounting on this thing is stupid like dang it guys so first you'll see already we already have this off there's a there's a nut cover that goes on here the nut cover has six bolts six bolts pretty long bolts stuck into that plastic for that nut cover so your hands are already tired to get that off of there like it's a lot and then you get the cap off and then and underneath there is actually a 10 millimeter nut which is useless as near as i can tell because most of the time when you have a 17 millimeter hex on any other wheel that's out there in the world it um it also has a 17 millimeter nut on the outside but we are still going to put these wheels on this truck and see what they look like and see if we think they will clear so that at least you know if you have some choices out there and if they can actually even get close to working <laughs> okay so honestly we went with these first because we thought it wasn't going to work but the yeti xl wheels 3.8 they're fairly narrow with these rc four-wheel drive with this is monster size 40 series these are rock crushers oh my gosh look at that for a second like just look at that like that that legitimately looks pretty good and so and here's where it gets even worse look when you flex it it actually tucks the tire in the fender like that's the offset that you want that looks pretty good now here watch this on the front watch on the front watch on the front you do the same thing it like tucks it in the fender a little bit yeah it's going to catch a little bit on these edges so if you really really love them you got to grind there a little bit the other thing is inside clearance so when you're driving straight it actually clears everything when you go to turn i don't know if you can see this or not it's kind of dark but when it goes to turn these inside the shoulder lugs here are going to catch the spring first which fortunately at least is not you know like you're not going to break it but if you came in here and you just cut these lugs or ground these inside lugs off like that would legit work like that would actually clear and turned the other way it actually clears everything it clears the bumper it clears the fender that like actually works. Look at that. Look at the difference side by side. <laughs> the truck definitely gained some ground clearance and looks just mean, just aggressive. All right, next up, these are just some cheapo. These are some Amazon edition 3.8 plastic wheel, fairly deep offset, which is, which is its downfall here. These are some mud slingers. Check them out though. I mean, <laughs> That is a beefy tire. Check it out compared to the other side over there. It's like double the width. Here's a stock tire. It's not double the width. It's like at least another 50% width on there. That is, that's some aggressive stuff. That is very, very aggressive on there. Issue that we have with these, um, it looks like it will bolt onto the rear and it will clear everything. If we try to flex it up, it sticks out a little bit. It's going to catch. It's going to catch all over that fender if you're really flexed out on the front though it won't go all the way on this wheel is just way too deep of an offset way too shallow of a diameter in here and so all your steering linkage and all that catches on these metal lips so mm, 
that kind of wheel so that kind of wheel just will not work with that much of an offset but the tire looks pretty mean so if you get a wheel that this tire could go on you might have some opportunity might have some chance there all right up next eight scale creighton tires creighton like the v5 the newest kind of edition creighton tire that's on uh yeah that's shorter yeah that looks silly that looks like maybe maybe your jeep forgot leg day like uh yeah, it looks kind of like the mall crawlers that i have around my town sometimes a little bit too low profile maybe now i believe hey hey high gear second gear 4s battery i bet this handles a whole lot better than the stock tires do i bet it corners a whole lot better we run into the same thing that we did with those mud slingers again the inside of this wheel is hitting this screw right here on the top of the is that the steering linkage that's the steering linkage hitting that screw on the top of it if there was a way to make this whole setup right here a little bit more low profile then this would work it would actually go in there it's actually so close that you can turn the hex via the bottom it's really really close like it wants to work but it's just it's just not quite there all right and then all right that's just silly that's, that's just silly i was really really kind of hoping these would get closer to not looking so silly because I really thought it'd be fun to try to drive this truck at high speed with buggy tires on it or truggy tires on it. Um, good news, there's the Duratrex X-Cons. You can see very heavy offset there. So it actually does clear everything. You can see that the, the screw for the steering linkage is actually inside of the wheel. So, and that is with it all the way up against the hex. So these actually technically do work. Like those could actually mount up. If anybody out there is interested in starting up an SCX6 race series at your local dirt track, let me know. Cause I think that'd be really, really funny. Really, really heavy offset and it actually works. And we can race our SCX10, uh, SCX6s. I was really hoping to give these a shot crawling because they're such a soft compound. I think, I think they might actually do decent um obviously they're not going to flex they're not going to envelope anything very well but they're just soft enough that it might actually just grip
Really big thanks to Nate here at Big Buddha's RC Ranch for letting me come out and run along with him today. Even in the rain, even in the muck, we had a fun time. So if you can, go check out Big Buddha's RC Facebook page. I'll have a link down below. All the events, great place to come out to and have a blast with your crawler even if it's a big one. So we're gonna get working on this truck. We're gonna get doing some other stuff. We will see you in the next video. In the meantime, please come over, check out some other videos that we've already made. And every, every bit that you support the channel really does, really appreciate all of it. So thank you and goodbye.